So it's week 79 and we are on to more flooring. Didn't film a lot last week because it was just us flooring at the weekend. Nothing really happened during the week. Every electrician has been called off on some other job and uh, he's not here this weekend so hopefully he's in next week then we can get the rest of the lights on and then we can actually start doing stuff when it's dark. So at the moment we're sort of limited by the hours of the day. So I've had a day off today, started about 20 past 8 and I'll probably end up finishing about half 3 when it gets dark. So not a full day. But let's see how much I can get done. So I've got my tools ready. So I've got my rubber mallet to just hammer any pieces that are a bit tight. I've got all my set squares just to make sure everything's nice and angled at the right angle and 45 degree, 90 degree and everything. I've got a straight level so I can just check on the edge, make sure it's all straight. The important bit, the adhesive and the trowel. So we get the uh, glue on the floor. Electric heater, obviously very important this time of year to keep the temperature up. I've got a thermostat somewhere just to check in the temperature and it's uh, within the allowed temperature for doing the gluing. So that's good. Little dehumidifier, not a massive one, but it's all we have, it's just doing a bit of a job. And I've got the hoover, so very important to get all the dust up and make sure there's no debris on the floor. And I've got a little scraper as well, just any bits of plaster or concrete that's just on the, on the floor, just scraping that up and hoovering that up. So we want a nice clean floor so we can get the, the glue stuck down well. So we've done the front room, which you've probably seen the time lapse for, which I'll drop in at the end. So we did that room first, we've now started dumping furniture in there out of the way. So that was relatively straightforward, it's just a case of getting it the first line straight with the laser and then working out where that then would finish. And luckily, the centre of that room also meant it would be the centre of this room, which was the more important one. So that was really lucky. So, And then because all the rooms are the same width along the house, it'll be the centre of the living room on the other side of the wall as well. So the first couple of days on the weekend, did that room and then came out into here and I really want to get into the back room because that's where I can get the bulk done because it's less restrictive in terms of space so I'll work my way along here that was another day and then now I'm in the back room plan for today is to go across this round this wall essentially because obviously we're keeping it flush through all the walls for all the doorways so as I go around that way and this way They've then got to meet back up here perfectly so i'm going to do that in one go while the adhesive is still a bit pliable and i can move boards around a little bit and tweak it if, if, if they don't quite meet up perfectly here so that's the plan today just get that area done and then i have no idea how long that'll take um, and then once that's done i'll just work my way back this way um, i'm not going to go that way because we've got the kitchen island and the kitchen there so i'm just going to bring it across from here and just work my way across that room and all the boxes are in here so it'd be good to start clearing them out um, and just a little couple of things in terms of pattern so this is the engineered parquet that we've gone for um, and actually uh, it's got one tongued edge rather than two as we had in other floors which what that means is you don't have left and right there's just one piece which makes it a lot easier and less waste um, and actually with gluing it down as well i found it just as strong as just the one tongue so that's really good um, and in terms of pattern, obviously I've done three at one time here, um, but normally I'd do two. And then when you decide which way to go next, so with the next one we're coming this way diagonally. So if you put the piece there first and then work that way, that's the only way you do it. If you put a piece there, you're kind of restricting how easy it is to push that next piece in. So you're always working. So I've just had some lunch and I've managed to get all this done in the morning. So a big chunk of this back room and also all the way along there to there, another fiddly light. Um, and what I said I'd do is go around this wall. So I've stopped there. I'm gonna go across as far as here, fill that in and then try and hope <laughs> they all come together there. Um, so what I've been doing is just doing line at a line at a time and I'm using set square obviously to make sure that I keep the right angle and just following it all the way along down that way and then coming back the other way so I've got one one more row that way and then I'll probably have to come back down that way because I'll have to go back into that room again to finish it but yeah it's coming along that's uh, not bad for half a day should uh, get quite a bit more done today and then uh, we'll know roughly how long it's going to take to the rest of the house First up, yes, we have a skip. We have another skip. 
So we've got a mix, mix skip this time, so we're going to get rid of all all the rubbish, as much rubbish as we can. <laughs> I can't wait. So excited I'm about More it. excited about this than anything else, I think. <laughs> yeah, so we've got, that's something that we need to do over the weekend. So yes, we've got a skip. And Andy's like, keeps missing stuff, throwing in it. <laughs> he loves using the laser. So he's getting that lined up where it needs to go for the amazing door knocker that I've been waiting so long to have on the door. So we were filling the skip up, but it is properly raining now. Not so much fun when it's raining, filling the skip up. So we've got these architraves, we've probably mentioned them in another video, um, from B&Q, painted them sulking room pink, fire and ball colour. And we're just going to get ready to put them up. Uh, we've used we've got the laser over here as well to make sure that it's full, going to be fully in line. Um, so yeah, we're good to go pretty much. We just needed to do a little bit more of an, the off black colour, which is the bottom of the wall again, a fire and ball colour, um, just to get the colour above the laser line. So the architrave is absolutely fine with no patchy bits of paint or anything. So yeah, we're going to put this up. So we've put some glue on the architrave. Which glue? What glue are we using? Uh, no more nails. No more nails. No more nails. Yep, so we just put that on. We're going to use, um, what are the other one? What are the actual nails called? Just some panel pins. Some just panel nails. pins. Yeah, just something nails like that you can't just, really much just say. Just hold it while the glue goes off, really. Yeah, but yeah, we're good to do with the first piece. Andy's buzzing because he's cut this piece and it is spot on. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking really nice. Mm. I've done this bit so far. Uses amazing saw and it's looking good, but I can't believe it's getting dark already. I know, I've done two pieces. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. And we've done as much as we can of the architrave this morning. We had to finish off like yesterday because it was getting too dark. So we can't do this side because um, of the architrave that'll go around the door. Uh -huh. So, yes, just needs a little touch up paint with the, na the nails that you need to use. Mm. Um, it wasn't too bad at all, was it really? Yeah, joins like I'll need a little bit of a fill, but yeah, I'm not going to do that until the rest of it's finished. But yes, another room getting there. Oh. <laughs> Just needs unfloor heating, flooring, lights, yeah. furniture. <laughs> Just, a Just, a few. Just a few bits. I've had a productive day filling the skip. Um, Andy didn't really want to start doing any more flooring because it's all like gluing and you didn't want to have to use a full tub. It was quite late on. So we've been having a good tidy up down here. And just basically, look, Lola. Basically, got rid of loads of rubbish in the skip, getting rid of bits and pieces like that. So it's just stuff in the house that we need. <laughs> I was just saying um, on our stories as well that um, we definitely deserve some, we got some cherry pie yesterday, so we definitely deserve that with a, some custard and a cup of tea. <sighs> yes, very full skip. I'm surprised we had that much stuff. So we are going to call it a day. So that is week 79 complete. Um, yeah, so electrician's back tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have electricity soon. Um, he's going to carry on with lights and stuff like that. He's done all the sockets and he's got light switches and lights. And then hopefully we'll have electricity soon. But yeah, productive day. Very tired now. But as always, thanks for watching. And I think we show some time-lapse footage that we will pop in at the end. <laughs>